My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Mita and if you are new to my channel, comment down below and say hello. Hi. <laughs> and I will be sure to comment back. I try to comment back to every single one of you guys. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button button and if you like my channel hit that subscribe button and that little notification belly bell so you can get notified every time that I upload girl oh no how you doing say what's up to Howard say hi Howard <laughs> so Howard's here with me you know we just chilling maxing and relaxing you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying <laughs> so today guys I did not put foundation I just put a little bit of concealer girl and that was it I um <laughs> I'm trying to upload every day so Monday through Fridays so Saturdays and Sundays I will not be uploading I will try to upload every day though Monday through Friday guys and um so yeah I can't put foundation on my face every single day because I have very extremely sensitive skin so what I'll try to do is put foundation when I'm doing really extravagant you know very va va voom looks you know what I'm saying you feel me you feel me okay girl so now moving along today guys what will we be reviewing we will be reviewing the thirsty palette <laughs> <laughs> old to you new to me guys i got this palette i did not swatch it nothing i wanted everything to be first hand for you guys live here on video 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 <laughs> okay let me come up close guys don't mind me i had a coffee so i'm feeling mighty good mighty go young what okay <laughs> okay let's keep going so this is the thirsty palette guys this is what the packaging looks like it does kind of bevel out of the packaging then we have the back this is a sticker that came in the box and I just stuck it on there. I love, I gotta say, Jeffrey never seems to disappoint. He is my absolute favorite YouTuber. Um, I really admire him as a makeup, um, um, I mean, yeah, makeup artist, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm more of a fan of him starting his own makeup company and being, you know, just a makeup developer you know and that's kind of my dream that's my passion that's what I want to do I want to be a makeup developer one day my dream is to do a collab with Jeffree Star and just kind of you know give La Costa this thing and my favorite color is hot pink <laughs> but let's get right into this video guys so here's the front as you can see it kind of feels like rubber on the front of these palettes and on the back kind of feels like a gives me like that rubber feeling you know what I'm saying so here's the inside of the paleta. It comes with this. I gotta say, Jeffrey is really stepping his game up, guys. Let me show you guys something. Let me just pull out one of his old palettes. Here we have the Beauty Killer palette. I don't think this one even came with a, I mean, don't quote me on it, but I don't think that came with a plastic. I'm usually very good about holding my plastics, and I don't think the Androgyny came with a plastic either, as well as the Blood Sugar did not come with a plastic. So the fact that a plastic came here, I thought was very cool. And the reason being, I think this plastic was here, guys, is because of these shimmer shades. They're kind of like glittery, and they might let out specks of glitter, and he was being mindful as to not let the glitter go on over to the matte shades and helping us to keep a sanitary palette which kudos to you jeffrey thanks for that and i gotta say guys his plastic compared to you know no tea no shade but his plastic compared to other companies let's see if i can find a palette with a plastic in it so i could just give you guys okay here's the kylie plastic from the kylie i believe this is the burgundy palette so i just want to give you guys a side by side view this one is more cloudy however this one is much more thicker than this one as you can see there this one is kind of flimsy as this one is not moving and you can actually hear it as this one it sounds weak right you hear that you see the difference guys so yeah um, I wish all the palettes would come with a very strong um, plastic like that, guys, because it ensures me that my palettes are going to be safe, secure, and sanitized. Okay, so now taking off this plastic, enough for the plastic speech, but here are the colors, and they are absolutely divine, girl, divine. I am really feeling these colors, guys, like really feeling these colors. <coughs> okay, so let's get into these swatches, guys. 
I will definitely be reading the names as I'm swatching these as these have the names in the palettes. When the palettes have the names on the back, guys, I am not going to the back of the palette to then swatch, go to the back of the palette, then swatch. Like, to me, that's irritating, it's agitating, and I'm just not doing it. You know, us as a consumer, we shouldn't have to go through that extra mile for the name of a freaking eyeshadow. Like, just put the damn name on the eyeshadow. Like so. You see what I'm saying? Like, why not? I don't, I, I don't, I never got that, never will. Don't understand why they do that. Just put it on the damn palette. Like, I don't even care. And let me just go on a little rant here, guys. I don't even care if the back of the palette doesn't have... You see, Jeffrey doesn't have the names on the back of his palette. I don't care. It's a box. Nobody cares about this damn box, right? I mean, we care when we buy it. Yeah, you know, we want to give La Costa and we see the box and we're very... Hi, yes, nice, nice box, yes. And then, girl, after you like nice box, like, bye. Nobody cares about you no more. When I open my palette, I would like to see the names in my freaking palette. I don't know, is it just me that, is it just me guys or do you feel the same way? Comment down below and let me know if you prefer the name of your eyeshadows in the freaking palette, okay? Okay, let's move along guys. All right, so the first one, and remember how we're swatching now guys. Let me just get my um, color switch. <clears throat> oh guys, excuse my coughing please. I have been with the most crazy asthma lately and yeah, so I've just been coughing a lot. So please excuse me if I cough a lot throughout this video. Um, I did take my inhaler. My heart is racing. Maybe that's why I'm so speedy. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so I have my color switch here. So first, we're going to go in with Parched. And I am using a Morphe G24 brush because it's nice and fluffy. And it can give me that nice, seamless blend. Okay, so I'm going to blend this up here. Oh, and that is powdery. Okay, so Parched is more like a fleshy tone. It's not showing up at all. This is a great transition shade though, guys. I gotta say, I'm gonna put a little bit more to see if you guys can get, I mean, you can't really see that, guys. That is a fleshy tone color. So this is great for transitioning. Like I was explaining in yesterday's video, if you guys didn't get to see yesterday's video, definitely go check out that video. These tones, these, um, okay. So if you can see here really quick, guys, parched, and then we have a subtle these would be transition shades and i like that jeffrey thought about the colored woman as well as the um you know light skin fair caucasian women um but jeffrey with the latina woman transition shade girl <laughs> clock it girl but yeah you wanna um you may want to put some latina shade right there you know what's funny guys you know what i find funny and i just gotta go on a little break right now is that you hear all these beauty gurus, right? They go off like, oh, there's not that many dark shades. Oh, there's not that many light shades. But what about Latina shades? You're right. There isn't that many dark shades. And there isn't that many light shades. But there is absolutely not that many Latina shades. We literally have to take a dark shade and a light shade to make our shade. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of sucks, guys. But, yeah. As far as foundation, I gotta say, in a variety of range there usually is a Latina shade for foundation. Now, as far as, I'm talking about transition colors and eyeshadow. I'm not talking about foundation, but a lot of people talk about how there's no transition in the palette for a dark girl. There's no transition in the palette for a light skin girl, but there's absolutely no transition for me, guys. And even that is too dark for me. You know what I'm saying? So I have to go in between these two to create a transition for my Latina skin tone. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, as far as foundation, I think they've done pretty well with the Latina um, colors for foundation. But I'm talking about um, transition shades for uh, the paleta. Okay? Now, let's move it along, guys. So I'm just going to clean this brush with my color switch. And I'm going to move on to Taste Buds. Taste Buds. And guys, I'm just going to do it like this, and then I'll just show you guys. Okay, guys, these are absolutely very, very powdery, as you can see. So I'm just going to go into Taste Buds again, and I think this is also another transition shade. These are very... There it goes. That's Taste Buds, and then the one up here is Parched, and that's with a blending brush. So... 
those two i think are transition shades guys i mean with a primer of course you're gonna get more pigmentation than that but i'm doing these without a primer the next one is bitch <laughs> and this one looks a little bit more pigmented so um i'm hoping to see some more pigment here yeah and this one's a little bit more pigmented so let's just blend that out and there we go these are very soft and beautiful shades guys But what I want to see, and I just want to do a little test right now, guys. Because I know somebody's going to say, but Mita, why didn't you try it with the pick, with the, um, with a base? So I'm going to try one of them with a the base, and we'll just see if they intensify. Just, just for the heck of it. Let's just see if it works. So the lightest one, which is this one right here, I'm going to put on my blending brush. And I put some Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot right here. And I'm just gonna blend that on top of there and see what kind of pigment we're getting. So that is the pigment with the soft ochre paint pot. And that is the pigment without the soft ochre paint pot. So it does intensify just a little bit, but I'm pretty sure we can build that up. Let me try building it up and seeing how it does. I think this shade is just a soft shade to be honest. There we go. Yeah, that's way more intense than this was. Okay? So, yeah, guys. These can be intensified. So, don't get scared. Don't be like, oh, girl, where's the pigment? No, they do get more intense. Okay, so the next one's called Kumquat. <laughs> I can't with Jeffrey. I cannot. So, I'm going to... Ooh, okay. We got some, These are very soft, beautiful summer shades. I am living very soft. These are definitely not like crazy pigmented but they're very soft and girl if you work this is the palette that you want this is the palette that you want if you're a working girl i think honestly this top roll that i'm swatching now i think these were all meant to be transition shades guys <sighs> because they're all very giving me very soft transition um tones right there they're giving me that transition vibe so next we're going to go into stroke jeffrey 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 I love him I swear okay so now we're going once with the blending brush stroke again very lightly and I think that um, again these are transition shades these are transition shades next we are going to go into subtle And that is subtle right there. Very pretty. Very nice. These are all very light, soft colors. And I love that for the summer. I really love that. Now we're going into Quench. And this is a yellow, like a bright, bright yellow. And this is very pretty. Mind you guys, I'm using a blending brush. Okay, so I want to explain something to you. With a blending brush and with a packing brush, you're going to get two totally different intensities. Like, for example, I'm going to take a packing brush with the yellow. And I'm going to pack that yellow on. And you're going to see a difference, okay? So you see when you pack it on, how more intense it gets? So it all depends how you want to apply these eyeshadows. You can apply them with a packing brush if you're using it on the lid. And it blends out very nice and softly if you're using it on the eyes. And then I just want to show you the difference with a finger swatch. So I'm going to go into quench with my finger. So you see how the finger kind of gives you that same effect as if you're packing it on with a packing brush. Which is good to know. Good to know. So now I know that uh, when I swatch with my finger, it's, it's, it's the equivalent to a packing brush. You know what I'm saying? Next is called Submerge. Yes, girl. Ooh, this, we're getting crazy pigment here. So... I can just imagine with a um with a with a primer how that's gonna look right that's gonna be sickening sickening to the gods okay next we have splash i'm living for submerge and splash and quench and beach <laughs> okay this one's very pigmented too again that's what i think it was i think the top row was meant to be um I think the top row was meant to be transition shades and the bottom is where the pigment is. 
just off of what I'm seeing here. The next is called Drizzle. And these do have a lot of kick up, guys, but I'm used to Jeffree Star's formula, so it doesn't bother me. His formula never disappoints. So there goes that one. And these are all the matte shades, guys. So you guys can just take a look at those matte shades all blended. And then we're going to take... I guess I'm going to have to put the... Shoot. Okay. I'm going to have to put the shimmers on my right hand. I just want to show you guys all the kick up. You see that? So it has a lot of kick up. But again... I'm used to that with his shadows. They perform excellent. I don't mind kick up. It does not bother me. But you just want to be mindful for when you're doing your eyeshadow. Maybe put some powder down or something. Because you're going to have fallout with these eyeshadows. Okay. Next, I'm going into Divine. Again, with my left hand. Which is so hard to freaking do with your left hand. Divine. Ooh. Ooh. We need to call that Lembada. <laughs> Lembada. <laughs> oh, wow. Next is called Filthy Rich, girl. Oh, and it feels, makes me feel filthy rich. These are like border. Mira, 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 mira. Ah! Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. I want to call that Brazilian butt lift, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Brazilian butt lift, girl. That's what we're gonna call that right there. Look at that. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Next we have lick. Looking like a caught a lick. Oh wow, girl. And I'm gonna name that Cardi B. <laughs> I love it. Next is called Snatch, girl. And I've never seen anything remotely close to this color. Snatch. Ooh. Whoa. 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 We're going to call that Hades, girl. Ooh. Yes. They came to play. Let me see this one right here. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. Girl, we're gonna call that El Dorado. <laughs> the Magnifo scene. <laughs> guys, I get on here and I just have a ball and I bug out with you guys. Just what I like to do. So these are the mats. These are the mats. These are the mats. And these, girl are the shimmers. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see those shimmers? Ooh. Girl, relax, really, release. Whoa. All right, girl. <laughs> I got to tell you guys off the back, I'm in love with these uh, shimmers. I can't wait to see how they perform on my actual lid. That's what's to come. So, uh, yeah, stop talking shit, me, dog. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my face. So I came close up so you guys could really see what I'm doing here on my eye. I will be doing this eye on camera, the other eye off camera. Um, because these shades are so light and soft, in order for me to intensify these colors, I'm going to have to go in with a white base. So I'm just going to put a white base and I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Primer and it's a white stick. All right, so now... I'm going to go into Quench, which is kind of like a yellow shade. And I'm going to put this in my crease right here. Kind of like this. Bring it in up here like so. And I'm just going to pack that color on because I really, really like that yellow. And then I'm going to go into Bitch, which is a nice kind of um, peachy, corally shade. And I'm just going to blend that into the yellow. Coming over a little. Just kind of blending yet packing at the same time. So I'm going in packing motions and I'm blending at the same time. I'm going to get some more of that eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pack at the bottom. As I go to the yellow, I'm blending. And as you can see, guys, those are blending in seamlessly to each other. I don't even got to put 
any effort to blend those two shadows together. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into Submerge and I'm gonna put it on the outside, blending that into the corally part. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into Parched and I'm gonna run this on the top of all those colors, kinda just try and blend this line out. And I kind of open my eye like this and this really helps me to like really because I have hooded eyes so this really helps me like to just get into where I need to get to. So now going back into the yellow, we're going to intensify all those colors again. I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape on an art brush. I'm not going to use the stamp today and I'm going to cut my crease. You guys are ready for this? I really hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Really sorry if you can't. Next, I'm going to get another flat brush, if I have another flat brush, because I've just been using flat brush after flat brush after flat brush. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like so far. So next, what I wanna do is I want to go into Snatch. And Snatch is kind of like a glitter color. And I'm trying to pick it up with my brush. Okay, I got some on the brush. Let's see how this is going to look. Okay. I think this is going to work best with my finger. And I don't know how I'm going to make that work. It's going to have the press. So I find this works better with your finger and I got some under my eye but it's okay we'll clean that out later this is like a glitter so I think what will probably work best for this is putting down a glitter adhesive underneath but it is working I mean it's going on yeah it's going on taking a little extra work to put it on but it's going on So we're going to go into yellow and I'm going to pack on the yellow right here. So next I'm going to take an art brush, a very fine line tipped art brush. I am going to take my Zuva Hydro Liner in white. I'm going to spray it with water from my spray bottle. There we go. I'm going to mix my brush in there make sure I get some opaqueness. Make sure it's not too watery because I don't want to go into this a million times. And now starting from the front, I'm going to line this out in white. That's what that looks like. So now guys, we're gonna go under the eye with Bitch. Kind of like that. I'm bring it all the way out under, like so, like that. I've been feeling my Tarte glitter gel, mermaid glitter gel, so I'm gonna take this with a small, very small brush. I'm gonna go over this shimmer here with some glitter gel. That's because I feel like that could pop a little more. I just wanna make it pop a little more. So now guys, I'm going to put on some mascara and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I am back. This is the finished eye look. And as you can see, I put some white liner in my waterline. And this is what I came up with. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a different eye look on my right eye so that you guys can have ideas with this palette. Okay? Okay. So we are going to use Taste Buds. And that upper portion of the crease. Next, I'm going to take Bitch and I'm going to put it 
Well, sorry, bitch. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in the lower portion of my eye. And we're not really seeing much of a difference, are we? Let's try that again. Okay, now we're seeing pigment. Okay, okay. I think we're gonna go into Filthy Rich. We're gonna pack that on the inner corner like so. We're gonna have to do this with our finger, guys. These do not pick up well with the brush. Oh, you see that? Look at the difference. I mean, you could put like a glitter base and it probably will pick up way better if you do that versus a brush. But girl, nobody got time for all that. And look at how nice it blends with your finger into that crease. You get that beautiful kind of like shimmer effect and it kind of fades into the top one. Like that's beautiful. So now I'm just going to go ahead and layer that on. Trying to get that on my inner corner because it's hard to get the shade on the inner corner with your finger. Especially when you're like me and you have big fingers. Like girl, who's doing that? Uh, not me. So now we're going to go into the inner corner. And I think I'm going to pop some submerge on my inner tear duct area. Submerge in there. So we'll put a little bit of blue. The inner tear duct. Just to give you a pop of color for when you're doing that neutral eye. And then you take your finger and just kind of blend it out. This is just like a quick little natural look that you could do. And it kind of gives you that beautiful bright inner corner look. You know what I'm saying? And then you can take any glitter you got. I have the Heavy Metals um, by Urban Decay in the shade Pyro. And you could just run this on the lower, on the top lash line. Nothing crazy. Just to give it, give it more of a va va voom look. I'm not even going to wing this out. I'm just keeping it for a more intensified glitter look. Now we're going to go under the eye. We're going to go under the eye with the quench, which is that yellow. So there we go we have the yellow underneath and it's very soft these colors are not as intense without putting the white on i think these are meant to be just transition shades i don't think they were meant to be like holy pigments you know what i'm saying i don't think they were meant for that and so that's the look that we have here and now i am going to go ahead and put on some mascara and i will be right back hey guys so i am back so let me come up close so you guys can see what i did so over here we just have some glitter from the palette some transition a little bit of blue some yellow underneath making it very soft glam and then we got here very va va boom in your face glam and then i want to put on a macaroon lipstick by um nyx and this is the macaroon lippy in 04 mouse and yes so this is the look i put together guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video my final thoughts on the thirsty palette okay i will give you guys my honest opinion um as far as the shades go these are not highly pigmented shades guys these i think were meant for transition shades i can use this palette in conjunction with like my sugar pill palette because these are very good transition shades when using pigmented shades but as far as these being extremely pigmented in my opinion they are not the glitter formula i do think is beautiful but i do think you need a glitter base to use these simply because they um do not pick up well with the brush so and and not everybody likes to use their fingers so if you're going to use a brush you definitely need to put a base so that it, it could adhere to the base also put powder under your eyes these um glitter shadows have a lot a lot of fallout and you will get glitter all over your face 
so guys I did like this palette however I like highly pigmented um, eyeshadows um, in a way I'm happy I got it though because I don't have any transition shades these colors so this is a very unique palette in my collection so I do like this palette and I am not regretful that I bought it I am happy that I bought it and I can see myself finding use for that paleta <laughs> so those are my final thoughts guys on this palette and I'm looking really crazy but I don't care because I love color girl aloe <laughs> aloe <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Also guys, if you have any um, questions or you know comments, leave them down below. I answer all my comments. I try to answer them in a timely fashion. Today's Friday guys, so I will see you guys on Monday. Don't forget guys to um, also on Instagram, if you guys recreate any of my looks, you can send the pictures to me on Instagram at Mora by Mita or Snapchat at Mora by Mita. And I do feature my recreations on Instagram along with giving you guys a shout out. Okay. I love you guys so, so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Hey you. Hey you.